welcome back to that same old place that you laughed about. Go 18, got 20. The tradition of Festivus begins with the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. Another Festivus miracle. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm going to air my grievances uh, on this holiday Festivus Christmas review of a movie called Christmas. Um, this is a 2016 film and it stars D. Wallace. And um, I came across this when I was doing research for movies to do reviews for. I wanted to really mix it up. I wanted to have some cheesy uh, Christmas horror movies. I wanted to have some uh, higher quality ones and then mid range, you know, just whatever um, kind of sparked my interest. So D. Wallace uh, being in the title uh, character poster art kind of drew me to that. And um, I also, I don't know if the video has already come out or not, but there's a video where I'm ranking the 20 best holiday horror movies according to uh, whatever. That's one of my animated videos. Um, and Red Christmas was listed in there, so it made me relook it up. And once I started watching it, I realized, oh, I have definitely seen this before. So I did a rewatch on it, which is um, always good when um, you've kind of forgotten about a movie. And even looking at the poster and seeing D. Wallace's name, it didn't trigger that I have seen this already. But it's an hour and 22 minutes. Guess where I found it? Pluto TV. <laughs> um, I did not look for it on Tubi this time, but it was on Pluto if you have that, it's a good streaming service. They have uh, multiple channels of all genres of movies, action, thriller, horror, terror. Um, the movie is about a mother who must protect her family on Christmas Day from a demented stranger who is hell-bent on tearing them apart. Written and directed by Craig Anderson, again starring the fabulous Dee Wallace, friend of the channel, by the way. Um, and there's a list of other characters. Um, and notably, uh, one of the characters is uh, Jerry. And he's played by Gerard O'Dwyer. And I think I've seen him in some other things. He has Down syndrome. And um, boy, he's got a scene in this movie that's just really deep. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, he's super well done. Um, and then another character, Sam Campbell, plays Cletus. And Sam Campbell has been in a lot of other things as well, even uh, Marvel movies. So he's not just a B-level actor. Um, so it's Christmas in Australia. Uh, Diane, played by Dee Wallace, brings together her estranged family for a chaotic holiday gathering. A 20-year-old decision literally comes back to haunt her when the ghost of Christmas past comes knocking at her door and is invited inside the family estate. Festivities quickly turn blood red when the stranger is revealed to be Cletus, Diane's aborted fetus. <laughs> Spoiler alert, all grown up, very much alive and ready to terrorize his long lost mother. Diane must face her past and explain the hideous truth that is trying to kill them all, especially to Jerry, her Down Syndrome son, before it is too late. Um, the tagline is, this Christmas, the only thing under the tree is terror. Uh, there is so much going on in this movie. Um, so Dee Wallace, if you listen to her, if you read her posts, if you follow her, follow her on anything, she's um, active with expressing her political views and, and uh, things like that. Super great lady, um, whether or not you've uh, fall into the category. If you can't separate politics from a movie, then you know you're probably missing out on a lot of movies. I fortunately have gotten to a place in my life where I don't let certain actors' uh, political views or stances or comments affect my ability to enjoy a movie. Now, I do understand the thought process behind not uh, wanting to pay money to see a movie. Uh, that contributes to a Weinstein or something like that. Um, like, I get that. But I'm just saying, like, if people make political statements or if they are pro-abortion or, or pro-life or whatever, uh, like, I don't care about that. I, that's their own personal choice, and that's in their own life. Um, this movie, however, does touch on a lot of different 
uh, triggers for people um, because the abortion issue is a big thing. The movie opens up with a scene of like an abortion clinic protest or something like that. Um, there's an interracial couple and it's not black. I, I, I don't know what the actual ethnicity is of the one gentleman. Um, there, there's a pregnant woman in this movie. Religion is in this movie kind of front and center. One of the characters is a priest, but he also ends up having like an implied masturbation scene. So if you're triggered by masturbation, you might want to skip that part of the movie. Um, and, uh, in the movie, Dee Wallace refers to the uh, home invader as a crazy Christian uh, because that's before it's revealed that this person is her son, uh, formerly aborted fetus, uh, whatever. Um, th this movie even touches on drug use, nut allergies, and cream pies. That's right. I said it. Cream pies are uh, name dropped more than once in this movie. And if you haven't seen this movie, then if not just for the cream pie, you you should watch this. And if you don't know what it, never mind. If you, if you, whatever. Um, so anyways, Red Christmas. Uh, it's good. It's got good kills. It's got good gore. Uh, you know, the story might be a little much uh for some people but i think all of the acting is is fine um d wallace you know she kills it she is a pro she takes every one of her roles very seriously and this is no exception um the range of emotions that she conveys in this is very 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 good and um jerry you know the down syndrome son of hers uh has a very very pivotal scene in this movie uh it's a, it's a very uh captivating scene the writing is really good they really didn't uh, hold back um with what they were trying to uh express here and i appreciate that so yeah uh, this is definitely deserving to be in the top 20 list of uh holiday horror movies um it, i'm super glad that i did a rewatch of it this year because it's been a few years since i've seen it um, but you can check this out for free on Pluto if you have never seen it. If you have seen it, leave some comments down below for me. Let me know what some of your thoughts were um, about this movie and uh, any of the topics in general. And uh, with that, stay tuned to the channel for more great uh, holiday shenanigans and whatever else festivus festivities. <laughs>